What's going on, Internet? Eric Van Holtz here. Found a beard brand. Hope all's going well. On the other side of the Internet, man, uh, my hair. You see it? It's a little wild. A little wild and awkward. And today, I'm going to be helping you guys get through uh, the awkward stitch. So uh, my hair is looking a little wild, as you guys know in a previous video I talked about. It. I didn't know what I really wanted to do with my hair. Well, the decision is I want to grow it out. I want to give it a little bit of growing time. I know I don't really like long hair, but now that Brzezinski's cut his hair, I figured, you know, why not give it a shot? I've kind of made it this far. Let's give it a few more months. How many more months? Uh, not a year. Uh, maybe six months? Two months? Four months? Something? I'm just going to keep on growing it, but right now, I am in the awkward stage, one of many, and I kind of want to talk about what I'm doing to help me get through it. So the deal with the awkward stage is, you know, every, every hair goes through it. And you know, in fact, even people who are getting their hair cut regularly, you're going through the awkward stage. It's going to be towards the end of the haircut. Uh, many of us are uh, kind of locked down, not seeing people, we're all cooped up. So we got this ability to kind of power through it. You know, so that is, you know, recommendation number one. If you're in a position where you don't have to be put together as much, then it's a great time to embark on an awkward journey of growing your hair. So, hope you guys are growing too, or some of you have gotten a little bit longer. And it's a great way to kind of explore new hairstyles and try things out. Now, the thing with the awkward hairstyle is it all starts with your growing pattern. So, as many of you guys know, I started with the mullet. Got the flow in the back and uh, short on the sides. So the sides have the most amount of time I need to grow to be able to catch it up and kind of get it longer. The top, of course, is a little bit shorter than the back and uh, it will get caught up with due time. But the growing process is going to look a little bit different. Now, I could completely change up my hairstyle to kind of even things up and have like an even grow, but my preference, actually, I feel like the growing journey is going to be better than I started with a mullet. I feel like a, a mullet is a great haircut to grow from. A lot of the length you want with the, the long hair is going to be kind of like this look around on your shoulders and kind of the bounce. And I'm already getting it. Like I'm already kind of getting the curls on the end and it's starting to feel like long hair. The downside is because my hair is shorter up here, I don't have that ability to wrap it up in a, a ponytail. You know, maybe I could do a little bit, but it, it clearly isn't long enough up here. So for reference, my hair comes down to about my mid of nose. And what I needed to do is really about double in length. So I needed to get it down to the chin. And then when I can get it down to the chin, I'm able to, to start putting it up into uh, ponytails or half buns and having like more of a traditional long hairstyle. Now, one thing you'll notice about my haircut that helped immensely with the growing out phase is my sides. See, you'll notice here, I have actually went, went to Jake when he was in town and I had him just kind of like edge up a little bit around the ears and uh, trim, up, trim up the neckline a little bit. And these two things kind of help your hair look a little more presentable as it grows out. So you're able to just kind of uh, keep it purposeful, for lack of better words. And if you go to the barber and you let them know that you're trying to grow out, you can tell them to cut it to add texture or take out bulk in certain areas that may be bulky, but they can still leave that length knowing that you want to get your hair a little bit longer. So don't be afraid to go visit your barber or stylist while you're growing your hair out to make sure that each stage of the phase is still something that looks pretty good. Now remember, every time you do cut your hair, you are making it a little bit longer to grow out. So you have to balance, you know, is the goal, is the destination the goal or is the journey the goal? Personally, I found that when you enjoy the journey, uh, the destination gets there a lot sooner. So if you're willing to uh, take those trips to the barbershop, head in there, get a little bit of trim up, find a new style that works with your new hair length, that's gonna work a lot better than uh, just waiting until a year down the road. Because, I don't know, I'd rather have 
you know, like short periods of awkwardness throughout the whole journey, rather than awkward the whole period of time. I'm just wearing hats, trying to grow it out and uh, waiting until it gets there. And then I get there and I find out I don't like it. So at least when you trim it along the way, it may take a little bit longer, but you can enjoy it on the journey. Now you'll notice today that my hair is, it's like really, really out there. And that's intentional because what I did today was I tried new styling techniques. So I got my sea salt spray and I got my hair dryer, but rather than using the typical a nozzle that will focus the air. What I'd use is the diffuser. The diffuser is that round one with the little teeth coming out the middle. And what it does is it diffuses the air and you can kind of rub it on your hair. And what this does is it creates a lot of waves. It creates a lot of texture, a lot of messiness, but it, uh, the, the hair clearly, it kind of has a, a mind of its own. And that's okay. Like I wanted to, to test different ways of styling my hair as it grows longer. So the the biggest mistake a lot of guys make when dealing with the awkward stage is they feel like uh, they have to stick with the, the, the hairstyle they've had up to that point. So if you had like a side part uh, and you're growing it out, you just keep the side part, keep the side part, keep the side part, eventually it's going to look bad. And you have to try to style it in different ways to be able to find the look that works for the length of hair. And sometimes that means you do it and it doesn't turn out great and that's okay but it's that experimentation and that testing where you're able to find really the perfect kind of style. So along this journey, uh, sometimes I'll, I'll kind of actually part it just slightly off center for a little more center look. Uh, I've done the side part with a little bit, you know, smooth satin finish. And like this one is just kind of like messy and a lot of volume, a lot of volume on the edge and like more of that kind of like 80s vibe. And that's why I've been wearing these uh, these enemy 04s because it kind of has that like, you know, mullet, 80s, you know, jean jacket vibe. So you can kind of really change up your style and your look as your hair grows out uh, rather than just feeling insecure and putting a hat on. So that brings me up to my next point is, yeah, sometimes you just got to wear a hat. For me personally, I can wear a hat for a couple hours, but I find that if I wear a hat all day long, I get a headache like just the hair is pushing down or something like that. Uh, I don't wear a hat enough times to, to do it. So for me, it's not really a great option for me. It's kind of like worst case scenario. But um, if you can get away with a hat, you know what else you could do? <laughs> you can do like a, a bandana, something like that. <laughs> People wear bandanas. Maybe it would be like a little more cool if you do the bandana kind of like as like a, what's that movie? Karate Kid or something? Again, like you're changing up your style, playing around. Bandana, no bandana. I don't know, man, you just gotta, you gotta do things. And that's the fun of the journey, man. You play around with new looks, different ways. Like maybe it's a beanie, maybe it's a hat, maybe it's a bandana. Maybe it's a fedora, you know, you never know, but there are a lot of different options you can play around with to change up that look while still kind of covering up the awkward days. Now, probably the most important thing and the thing that I say for last is the people around you. And you need to be around other people who are supportive of your journey, who will help you lift you up when you're down and you're kind of in doubt about doing it. You know, it doesn't have to be your partner or your friends in person or your coworkers or whatever. It can be people online. We've got an online community called the Alliance that's very supportive and they understand what it takes to grow a beard out, what it takes to grow hair out. And you can share your journey, share photographs, share the pains that you're dealing with. And then as you are able to overcome those, celebrate the wins. So I would highly recommend, uh, whether it's the Alliance or you know our friend Trav White, He's got Maynard Means on uh, <laughs> Maynard Memes. Maynard Mains on Facebook. There's a lot of groups out there that support people who are growing their hair out, growing their beard out. Try to be around those people and maintain that positivity around yourself because every once in a while when your head starts getting negative, you need to be around that positivity to lift you up. So let me know what I missed or let me know if you're growing your hair out, growing your beard out, or are you fighting the awkward stage right now? As always, thanks for watching and cheers. Keep on growing. Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant.
Grab it at beardbrand.com.